Hey guys, we are at Elora Caves in India and I'm going to show you some solid evidence about a secret underground area that is hidden under these caves. As you can see, there is a rectangular tunnel about one foot wide that is vertically going down and is not open for public access. I asked the security guards if I could take a closer look and they told me that visitors are not allowed but they also told me that this tunnel is over 40 feet deep and then it takes a right angle turn to proceed underground. Nobody knows what's inside after that because the tunnel becomes too narrow for human beings to get through it. Here's another one that is hiding in plain sight. You can see a channel on the ground and there is a small rectangular opening at the end of this passage that would drain the water to the other side of the temple. But I went to the other side of this rock, but guess what? It's a solid stone. So there is no other way except that this rectangular opening leads to the underground. Notice that the rectangular opening is only large enough for a 10 year old to go in. Since adult human beings can't access it, was it designed for human beings at all? This is another hidden passage in Elora Caves that I tried to get through, but after 10 feet, it becomes so narrow that I can't go any further. Where do these mysterious tunnels lead? Who could have used such narrow passages? The other important question is, how can you carve such narrow passages if human beings cannot even get through them? Was it carved by human beings at all? Were these carved for extraterrestrials that are smaller than human beings? Notice how this entrance is clearly going underground in this cave temple. These are underground areas hiding in plain sight. The security guards told me that there are several underground tunnels in Elora Caves which gradually become too narrow for human beings to access them. And all of them are locked. From these old doors, we can assume that these tunnels have been closed from public access at least 30 to 40 years ago. These underground tunnels are not found in the same area but are scattered over many different caves in Elora which stretches across a few miles. Is it possible that there could be a vast underground city like Derinkuyu in Turkey? Derinkuyu is an enormous underground city with advanced technical features that could accommodate more than 20,000 people. Remember that Derinkuyu was hidden for centuries only to be discovered in 1965. If it's true that there is a vast underground city in Elora, shouldn't there be ventilation shafts that would allow air from the ground to reach below? In Derinkuyu, there are thousands of holes drilled from the ground that act as ventilation shafts to the underground city. Look at this long ventilation shaft in Elora Caves that is drilled secretly in a dark chamber. It's about 4 inches wide but it's so deep that we can't even see the other end. Could this be a ventilation shaft that reaches the underground city? How about this ventilation shaft which is also going underground. You can also see hundreds of holes like this drilled on the rock floor. Some of them are unfinished and only a few inches deep but notice how the other holes have been closed with concrete recently. I asked why some of these holes have been closed and my tour guide told me that someone dropped their car keys into one of them but these holes are so deep that they could not retrieve it. So they just covered these holes by putting concrete over them. What else could be the purpose of these deep holes on the floor if they are not ventilation shafts? Why would hundreds of holes be drilled on these rock floors with painstaking efforts without any reason? Now this is one of the abandoned bat infested places and let's take a look at what's inside. This seems like a very old sanctum holding a lingam which is a Hindu god. Centuries ago, plenty of water would be poured on this lingam every day as part of religious worship 
and it would drain through this channel. Notice that this water drain has been closed recently with some rocks. Where would the water go? Let's see where it goes. It would go vertically down through this tunnel. Unless there is an area underground, this would be pointless because the water would just overflow all over the place. All over Elora Caves, there are hundreds of idols which would require thousands of gallons of water poured on them every day. Was this a technique to get clean water underground that could be used for different purposes? When water is not being poured in, it would work as a ventilation shaft as well. Was the entire Elora Cave complex built for humans or extraterrestrials to live underground? If so, wouldn't there be at least one carving in Elora that shows some kind of underground life? How about this carving that shows Nagas or reptilian snake gods doing something clearly underground right below where Buddha is seated? Notice that they are much smaller in size than Buddha. Could these smaller beings have used the narrow tunnels which are too small for human beings to access. Let's take a look at this carving where it shows two humanoids clearly on the underground level. Notice that the normal human beings are always shown on ground level while the humanoids are shown on the level below them. Again, notice how much smaller the humanoid on the right side is. Elora Cave Complex has three different religious temples carved side by side. There are Buddhist, Hindu and Jain temples which follow different scriptures and mythologies. The strangest thing about Elora Caves is that these snake gods and humanoids are shown underground in all the different religious temples. This is a Hindu temple and you can see humanoids living underground. This is a Buddhist temple and it shows Nagas or reptilians underground and this is a Jain temple and you can see underground humanoids as well. Why do all these different religions show Nagas and humanoids as smaller than human beings and all these carvings show them at a level below where the human beings are? Notice how there is a clear indication of different levels which clearly shows humanoids and even cattle living underground. Remember that Derinkuyu in Turkey has eight levels underground and remains of cattle were found during excavation. Are these carvings a clear indication of an underground city that was built under Elora Caves? I went online and tried to find if anyone knew about this underground city in Elora. There was nothing mentioned about Elora Caves, but I found two maps from different sources that show underground areas all over the world. The first one was from a research group called Leading Edge, and it accurately points to the exact location of Elora Caves. I found another map, which is supposedly from KGB, and this map too clearly shows that there is an underground base located precisely at Elora Caves. And these sources claim that these underground areas are not just small tunnels, but vast underground cities covering miles and miles of territory. With all these evidences, I think there is no doubt that there is an underground city hidden under Elora Caves. What do you think? Please do let me know your opinion. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.